Bella here. We are back for some more fan theories. Today we're going to be reading uh, 14 wild video game fan theories that will change the way you play. Video games have become one of the world's most popular forms of entertainment. The biggest release each year can easily bring in more money than blockbusters, movies, or hit albums. As the video game industry has grown and expanded, so too has the prop propagation of wild video game fan theories <clears throat> become more complex. With increasingly more video games focusing on storytelling, people have started making up crazy theories about these video games and trying to explain the uh, inconsistencies and unanswered questions. Although it is possible to play through popular titles without thinking too much about the plot, complex stories have given the players the opportunity to delve deeper into their favorite pastime. These believable video game fan theories prove that fans are willing to go to the extreme lengths to link together their favorite franchises and uncover hidden secrets. Number one. Limbo is a is one boy's punishment for killing his sister. Considering the name con, considering the name of the game, there have been several theories that Limbo may have been may have may actually be some sort of purgatory for a young boy protagonist. Seeing as how the end of the game loops back to the beginning, it almost seems as the boy is trapped in a realm of perpetual punishment. One theory one theory can Constants that the player controlled character is responsible for killing his sister and is stuck in an endless loop of paying for his crime. It explains why other ki other children in the game run away from the boy and why the world is filled to the brim with violent traps and pitfalls. Number two, Super Mario Bros. Three is really a stage play. The theory that Super Mario Three Super Mario Bros. Three is actually a stage play has been has been around for dozens of years. There are plenty of convincing evidence to suggest that the characters in the games are actually acting all the background art such as the platforms and scenery appear to be such as the bolted to the wall or hanging from the ceiling additionally the title began the, with the curtain rising and finishing off with mario exiting the stage number three characters in super smash bros are really toys owned by a child ever since the n64 release of super smash bros there have been theories there have been theories to try to explain why all these characters are able to fight each other. The co most common explanation is that all the characters exist in the imagination of a child who is playing with the toys from his favorite video games. This child is believed to be the master hand who is influenced, who is able to influence the world and control the action that he forces the toys to fight to for supremacy. Number four, Kirby visits a post-apocalyptic world in Kirby 64. The fifth title of Kirby 64 seems to be Turtural Hero Visits a World Known as Chival as Shiver Star. In the level, Kirby travels through an abandoned factories, towns, and but never encounters any people. The only sign of life is that there are a few robots and wild bees that can be found throughout the different stages of the le different stages of the level. A quick run through of Shiver Star reveals that the the it looks remarkably like Earth. The planet has been the same uh, visible contents and even a moon that is consisting with the with the one that orbits Earth. This has led to some specular that, that Shivel Star could actually be a post-apocalyptic version of our own planet that froze over, killing off the human race, leaving only robots and some animals to roam the surface. Number five, Pokemon takes place after a devastating war. One, one interesting detail note about the original Pokemon games is that there seems to be a rather obvious lack of adult males in the, in the world. The only male figures in the game are some scientists, military servicemen, or gym trainers. Your own father is mysteriously absent from the story, and your rival apparently is an orphan. This, uh, this along with a large number of hospitals can be found throughout the Kanto region, has led to some specu speculate that there was a devastating war that wiped out most of the... Most of the uh, world's male population. Further evidence theory comes from something uh, Lieutenant Surge says during the gym battle. Just before he throws down, the gym leader informs the player that electric type Pokemon saved me from the war. Number six, Majora's Mask is a metaphor for the stages of grief. Ever since the release of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, people have been spinning theories to help explain the game's rather bizarre content. One leading, one leading theory posted said the entire game is a metaphor for the five stages of grief that Link experiences after the loss of his friend Navi at the beginning of the story. Initially, the residence clock town are in complete denial as they refuse to believe that the moon is about coming to crash down on them. Anger is demonstrated by the Deku King who punishes who punishes an innocent monkey at his rage. The stage of bargaining couldn't be observed in the snowhead when the Goron hero tries to convince Link to bring him back to life. Meanwhile, in the, green, in the green, Great Bay, in, in Zoran Lulu is depressed and has isolated from the rest of her tribe. The final stage sees Link to accept his own flaws, leaving behind his mask and is collected throughout his, uh, his adventures. 
Number seven, you kill Gary's Raticate in Pokemon Red and Blue. The Pokemon series really deals with the issues of the creature actually dying. When a Pokemon goes down in battle, the game is gingerly lets the player know that the beloved companions has fainted. However, Poke, Poke death definitely still occurs as Pokemon Red and Blue feature cemetery dedicated entirely to the pocket monsters. This theory contends that Gary's Raticate is killed by the player midway through the game, following on the SS and where Gary goes where Gary does not have access to a Pokemon Center to heal his fighters. His Raticate seemingly disappears. The creature isn't present in future battles as a rival encounters not long after the Pokemon Cemetery in Pokemon Lavender Town. Number 8. Players drink menstrual blood in Bloodborne. Healing in Bloodborne involves drinking vials of blood. One theory argues that the blood of these containers is actually menstrual blood. The evidence supports the theory that comes from the fact that the vials ex are exclusively handed out by women. One of these females stopped to hand over the blood when she becomes pregnant and and none of the older characters carry vials. Additionally, many much much of these games take place in the Nightmare of Menaces. It, the the name of which closely resembles the word menses, which means menstruation. Considering players are required to eat multiple pieces of umbilical cord to achieve the game's true ending, this theory honestly isn't too far-fetched. That's disgusting. <laughs> Number 9. Mario's watching over Luigi to make sure he doesn't destroy the world. Predator U slash Lord Orgasm created a compelling theory that tries to explain Mario constantly ac accompanies his brother Luigi. Paper Mario, the 10,000... The Thousand Year Door proves that when Luigi left his own devices, his good deeds are usually followed by mass destruction. Luigi is unaware of the chaos he creates in trying to be heroic, so it's important that Mario constantly watches over him to run damage control. When, when once considered Lu Luigi's collection of bizarre and powerful abilities, Mario's observance of his brother is to feel more vital. <laughs> Number 10. Animal Crossing features a kidnapping cult. Animal Crossing begins when a player wakes up into the back of a strange bus, just before they're dropped off to a mysterious town. This, is, this has led some to believe that the whole town is involved in some, some child abduction theory, conspiracy. One player of the, entered the town, they are unable to leave as guards protect the exit gates. The, the mayor specifically mentions how you'll be watching over everything that you do, and another character explains you have work, work, work in order <coughs> to pay off your never-ending debts. Number 11, the Mass Effect series Commander Shepard ends up coming a Reaper. Mass Effect 3's huge disappointing ending led many fans to create more interesting theories that explain exactly what happened to Shepard and the Reaper. One of the most popular theories is that Commander Shepard is in indoctrinated by the Reapers and ending in the game is not taken literally. Instead, the grand finale is symbolic of the mental battle lost by the hero who solely succumbs to the Reaper's brainwashing. In the Mass Effect universe, pretty much anyone who spends a sign significant amount of time with the Reapers and their technology becomes introcated and Shepard constantly is close to proximity with the Reaper's equipment. The player can hear scraping sounds during the Commander's hallucination dream, a common side effect of the process. And Shepard, the only one who can see the small child that appears in the series' final installment. Sorry, I'm not sure what that fucking word means. Intra... Indoctrinated? In in indoctrinated? That's such a weird word. I've never heard that word in my life. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to look that up. Okay, that's a fucking weird ass word. Anyways, moving on. Number 12, Metal Gear Solid 3 is actually a virtual reality simulation. A theory about Metal Gear Solid 3 has a capture capture the image imagination of fans and the entire game is just a series of, of simulations at the start of the game snape mistakenly calls a virtuous virtuous mission a virtual mission which possibly hints at the true nature of the ver uh, of the venture the rest of the evidence comes from the uh form of a time paradoxes in which a player chooses to kill the characters who appear in the franchise's later installments of the phrase time paradox flashes across the screen the theory argues that the simulation pulls snake out whenever he does something like that so, uh, whenever he does something that doesn't align with the franchise's historical lore. Number 13, Donkey Kong Country is an anti-imperialist. A prominent theory about Donkey Kong Country is that the Nintendo game is an anti-American propaganda that exposes the evil's imperialism. The game features some obvious reference to the United States, such as, such as materialistic enemies in the oil-based levels that suggest that King K, uh, that suggests King K rule 
is turning the land into a giant drilling field, but there are some more subtle pieces of evidence. The town of Santos of the villains stealing bananas in their military force, which is exactly what the U.S. repeatedly helped the United Fruit Company to do in the 20th century. Number 14. Mine the planet in Minecraft was once a star. The, this, this rather sad theory argues that the planet that the player that the planet that player inhabited in Minecraft was once a star that has since died out. The main argument comes from a rather strange astronomical observation. The moon and the sun and the sky are always directly opposite of each other, but the constellations in the sky never change. This can only mean that everything in the solar system orbits the planet the way that the objects in our solar system orbit the sun. According to the theory, when the original sun has died out, the residents decided to ingate their own planet to create a new dwarf star, then settled on a dead rock and used that as the sun. That is basically it. Tell me what your favorite uh, video game fan theory was, or if you have any of your own, feel free to leave it down in the comments. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and give a thumbs up. Also, the bell so you can do switches daily. I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.